Hi, I'm Dave Conkle with the Great Lakes Renewable Energy Association. I'm standing in front of the STEAM School in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where students from this school participated in the My Solar School contest. The goal of the contest was to inspire and support teams of students, teachers, and parents as they pursued solar electric installations at their school. The contest required each team to write a report about the energy use of their school, along with a plan for adding solar energy, and make a five minute or less video. 24 teams registered for our contest and 14 teams submitted entries that included the reports and the videos. The video you are watching is about one of those schools, the STEAM School in Ann Arbor, Michigan. This team completed all entry requirements and successfully raised the funds to achieve their goal of installing solar energy at their school. I'm being joined now by Jeannie Wilson, the Solar Project teacher. Hi Jeannie. Hello. It is so exciting to see this project moving forward. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. The Solar School Project is something the Club Eco Innovations does at STEAM where we work to get solar panels and other. Basically uh, tries to implement some sort of photovoltaic array to capture power from the sun and try to get it at net zero. This was a student project that became a club that is now moving towards you know, coming to fruition. I saw the advertisement for the club in the hallway and then I thought it sounded interesting. I think it's a really cool project and like, I like to do it. The most challenging thing was probably raising money because we need to get the word out to people who want to help us. We got approval from the board to start raising money. We got approval from facilities. We met with a lot of experts to try to get some better understanding about what the constraints for this project would be. The community and the people at the school supported us. And then we went to local businesses and asked them to support us. We had to uh, ask a lot of businesses, local businesses, we had to get a lot of grants. The mayor actually came to the school with a few council and they, they gave us this grant. And so we got a couple of businesses that gave us some financial support. We had some families and then we did a GoFundMe. There are, uh, will be many educational benefits. This is why this pilot is so valuable for the I found public speaking the most challenging because I was nervous about it. You had to figure out how to deliver your like speech or how to like tell them to like support your project and that was sort of nerve-wracking. Making some of the uh, promotional videos <laughs> were really fun because uh, we made them quite funny and entertaining. It's environmentally friendly and it gives us a lot of energy. Uh, definitely. It's a great learning uh, experience. Hi, I am Felix the Scientist. I am here to talk to you about getting solar panels at A2C. The My Solar School contest, that was a really big deal. First of all, it gave our, my students very clear, um, con, you know, criteria of what they needed to do to prove that we were going to get this done. And then they were able to get second place and that was a nice chunk of money to get us moving forward. And then there was some more money that came in in relationship to that My Solar School program. So we want to try to add more solar panels so that again we're at sub-zero and we're taking in like the energy we use is the same energy we produce. And then hopefully we will uh, help other schools get in Ann Arbor get solar panels up and make it a greener school community. We didn't want this project to be something that we just like did and moved on. We wanted this solar project to be something that would bring the community together under this idea of trying to reduce our 
you know, our carbon footprints and trying to become a community that produces rather than just consuming. This planet really is our planet and uh, we're going to be the people living on it um, 20 years from now, 40 years from now, 50 years from now. And so it makes a really big difference to us whether the planet is a sweltering desert or a nice place to live. Um, and I think that I would prefer to live on a planet that is habitable.